I want to take the same exact equation, and this time I want to show how we ungroup from right to left all at once at the beginning, and then we begin our subtraction. So in this case, I'm not, you know, I know that I'm already going to need to ungroup from uh, looking at my two digits, my two numbers, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup all at once, just get it out of the way. So if I take my five thousands, it's going to give me four one thousands. That's going to give me fourteen hundreds. So I'm going to ungroup from the fourteen hundreds. It's going to give me thirteen hundreds. It's going to give me sixteen tens. I'm going to take the sixteen tens. It's going to give me fifteen and ungroup from there, and thirteen ones. So I did that very fast, but basically what I was doing is I was taking um, the, the ungrouping a thousand, breaking it up into ten hundreds. I added the ten hundreds to the existing four hundreds, it gives me fourteen hundreds. So then I ungrouped one of those hundreds, which left me thirteen left. That gave me ten tens, which I added on to the existing six, that gave me sixteen tens. And then if I ungroup one of those tens, that gave me fifteen tens. And that one ten that I ungrouped added ten ones, added to the three ones that are already there, gives me thirteen ones. Now I did all that work at the beginning because now I can go ahead and solve my equation. 13 minus 5 is 8, 15 minus 7 is 8, 13 minus 6 is 7, 4 minus 2 is 2. And I get the same exact answer as I got before. This time it, it, it's all done, the, all the ungrouping is all done at the very beginning. and. For some students, it might be easier to do it that way, just to get it out of the way. And then they don't have to really, all they have to do is just look down the place value, all the ones, go straight down the tens, go straight down the hundreds, go straight down the thousands. And uh, for some students, that might be easier to do. In this video, I want to model two different ways to subtract. One is by ungrouping from right to left, which is what we would kind of refer to a standard algorithm, and the other way is ungrouping all at once from left to right. Uh, first, just to model this uh, equation of 5,463 minus 2,675, I'm going to ungroup from right to left, basically in a standard algorithm kind of way, uh, just so we can see how uh, the original way works. Uh, first off, I want to take away uh, 5 from a 3, and I can't quite do that, so I need to ungroup the tens. So I currently have 6 tens, so if I take one of those tens, that's going to leave me 5 tens. And one of those tens is going to break or ungroup and turn into 10 ones. And those 10 ones are going to add to these 3 ones, so that's going to give me 13 total ones. And so I take 13 minus 5, and I'm going to get 8. And so I take a look now at my tens. Okay, I need to take away seven tens away from five tens, which I can't do. So I need to ungroup my hundreds. So I used to have four hundreds, now I have three one hundreds. And one of those hundreds is going to ungroup and make ten tens, which adds to my currently five tens. So that's going to give me five, fifteen tens. And fifteen take away seven is also eight. And now I currently have three fours. Let me clean that up there. I have three fours, and I want to take, a, I'm sorry, three hundreds, and I want to take away six hundreds from three hundreds, which I cannot do. So I need to ungroup from the thousands. That's going to leave me four thousands, and it's going to leave me thirteen hundreds. So 13 minus 6 is 7. And then I'm left with 4,000s. Take away 2,000s. Excuse me, 2,000s left. Now, it sounded more complicated than it really is. It's basically a standard algorithm. Um, and if we look uh, at how this whole uh, top portion plays out, it's really 4,000s plus, um, you know, the reason why we write it this way, it's really 4,000s plus... 1300s, which is 1300, plus 
one, 15 tens, which is really 150, plus 13 ones, which is a 10 and a 3. And if I add this together, um, I get 5,463, which is the number I originally started with. And so uh, we just reorganized the way uh, 5,463 looks. We basically ungrouped it so it's a uh, different way it looks. This is basically a standard algorithm, uh, and so most you know parents at home um, typically understand this method, but I wanted to put this in video just so we can see it. Um, I'm going to show the ungrouping all at once one more time as an example, uh, and this time I'm throwing in uh, one area where technically I don't have to ungroup in order to do it, but I'm going to still use the ungroup all at once method, and I'll show you how to correct that when we go through the process. So uh, basically, I'm going to take my thousands, I have three one, thousand, I'm going to make that two thousands, and one of those thousands is going to break up into ten hundreds. I'm going to add those ten hundreds to my existing four hundreds, this is going to be fourteen hundreds. I'm going to borrow one of those hundreds. And that's going to break up into 10 tens. I'm going to add that to my existing 5 tens. I'm going to borrow one of those 5 tens. That's going to give me this many. And I'm going to add, it's going to, the 10 is going to make up 10 ones, which add to my existing 2 ones. I get 12. So now I'm going to go through. I'm going to say 12 minus 8 is 4. 14 minus 6 is 8. 13 minus 2 is 11. Now, wait a second. I can't just put 11 down here. That's not going to make any sense. And so that should be a little red flag for us. So what happened was we ungrouped when we really didn't need to ungroup over uh, in this area right here. But uh, the way to fix that is actually very simple. Instead of writing the 11 down here, it's almost like a little mini uh, uh, addition problem. So I erase the 11. Instead of adding the 11, you just basically put the 1 like you would normally put, and you carry the 1. So now I have the 2 plus 1, which is technically a 3 again. And so 3 minus 1 is 2. So my answer is going to be 2,184. So my the point is... Any method of subtraction, as long as you get the correct answer, that's perfectly acceptable. I'm just showing two different strategies. Some students might prefer the standard algorithm of ungrouping from right to left. Others might find it easier to ungroup everything all at once and then go down each place value. And so for those students who ungroup all at once that want to go down each place value, as long as they understand how to make that little correction when they ungrouped when they really didn't have to, and by carrying the one again uh, and regroup it back together, uh, as long as they can make that little correction, uh, they will still get the correct answer. So, as always, if you have any questions, you can always email me at fogelem at svsd.net. And uh, I hope you found this video somewhat useful. Thank you. Have a great day.